safely in possession of the Golden Mask. Its power to communicate with the volcano god Jambula kept life on the island in peace and harmony. But tales of the sacred mask had spread far and wide, and there were those who wanted its power for themselves. One dark and stormy night, the sacred mask was taken from atop its resting place in the chief's hut and carried off into the night. The only clue to this devilish deed were the hundreds of tiny footprints leading up the mountain. Now, powerless to pacify the volcano, Big Kahuna feared Jambura would grow angry, spelling disaster for all who lived on the island. Ashamed to show his face, the chief knew that a plan to retrieve the mask had to be made. He called on the village for a champion. Success would be rewarded with fame and fortune. Many of the tribe's greatest warriors stepped forward. However, an unlikely candidate was chosen by the chief. A young warrior, whose past acts of bravery were well known to the elders, was ceremoniously given the royal amulet. And, armed with a spear of fortune, he was ready to begin his quest. A quest fraught with danger and many great obstacles. Getting to the top would require all of his courage and a fair share of good fortune.